Assalamu alaikum, this is our vision. I am Shazana and this is News Headlines. UN blasts India's deportation of Rohingya to Myanmar. UN says Rohingya children in need of basic education. The UN voiced alarm Friday over India's deportation of seven Rohingya men to Burma despite warnings they could face persecution in a country where the military is responsible of genocide against the Rohingya minority. The UN Refugee Agency said it was greatly concerned for the safety and security of the seven men who were returned to Myanmar from India on Thursday. The men who had been in detention for immigration offenses since 2012 were handed over to Burmese authorities at a border crossing in India's northeast state of Manipur. Before their deportation, the United Nations had expressed concern that returning the men ignored the danger they faced in Burma, where for decades the Rohingya have been targeted in violent pogroms by security forces. UNHCR said the Indian authorities had not responded to its request that they assess the men's claims to international refugee protection in the country. Rohingya children and youths in Bangladesh refugee camp are in need of education, said a spokesperson for the United Nations Education, Scientific and Cultural Organization, UNESCO, on Friday. We are concerned about losing a generation. Young people especially have limited opportunities to get an education here. Alistair Lawson Tancred told journalists in Cox Bazar, a district in southeastern Bangladesh, where Rohingya fleeing persecution by the Burmese army. Tancred said, more than half of the roughly one million Rohingya staying in the camps are children, most of which are under 17 years old. The UN Children's Fund, UNICEF, aims to provide education for children aged 9 to 14 in the camps, he added. Since August 25, 2017, nearly 24,000 Rohingya Muslims have been killed. More than 34,000 Rohingya were also thrown into fires, while over 114,000 others were beaten. Some 18,000 Rohingya women and girls were raped by Burmese army and police, and over 115,000 Rohingya homes were burned down, along with vandalizing 113 others. Thank you for watching our Vision News.